How was the Tesla bot created? Perhaps you've heard about the benefits about the Tesla Optimus robot that could bring through what Elon Musk has often shared. Cleaning the house, taking care of the family, even making money like an automated machine. Yeah, we're not skeptical about that. We all know about their potential, but how many of us know how these humanoid robots are actually made? Everything miraculous starts with a bolt, and all will be revealed right now. Yes, indeed. Optimus can help solve a myriad of labor-related issues and save costs in factories and even households. They'll be especially useful someday, but first, we need to know how to manufacture them. Unlike EVs being entirely automated on assembly lines, Optimus robots are primarily built through manual labor under the expertise of engineers knowledgeable in robotics. Tesla's recruitment list for related positions remains quite long, and we've learned that the manufacturer will produce both Gen 1 and Gen 2 generations instead of just unveiling the latest gen. Currently, Tesla has completed nearly 70% of its humanoid robot, with the final stages being more challenging and time-consuming precisely because of what the robot can accomplish, and that's what Tesla calls utility. In the Tesla bot video, folding a shirt recently posted by the manufacturer, if you pay close attention to what's happening behind the scenes, we'll find evidence that Tesla is developing both generations of its robots at the same time. This could be a research lab within Giga Texas, which seems quite tight to suggest Tesla will manufacture them there. We pay more attention to the stacks of 4680 cells placed on the table. Yes, they closely resemble the 4680 cells in size. And if this is true, Optimus is highly likely to integrate these latest battery technologies. With the announced battery pack capacity of 2.3 kilowatt hours, the quantity needed wouldn't be too demanding and Tesla could adequately supply them for the robot. As we mentioned, and you're probably already aware, Tesla does not have a separate manufacturer to make their humanoid robots. Everything's still housed at the Texas facility. As Elon stated, the individual drive units for the robots will all be produced by Tesla, and he's confident that they'll be the most advanced drive units in the world. Additionally, most other components and materials for the robots are imported from other suppliers. So the question arises, how's Tesla creating their robots to commercialize them as early as next year? To explain clearly how Tesla creates a robot will make you really confused because at least not only you, but also we are not experts in this field. Rather, Tesla's never provided details every step they took with a robot project, but it'll distill and show you what's easiest to visualize about the process of creating the Optimus robot. Its creation mainly revolves around two main parts, hardware and software development. However, we want to talk more about hardware first in today's episode. Why is Tesla bot actually more perfect than we think? Starting with the outer shell, compared to Gen 1, the Gen 2 Optimus has been designed more aesthetically pleasing with a combination of metal and plastic. Initially, we thought those outer layers were made of carbon fiber, but that seems to be wrong. Polyurethane plastic has been suggested with a ratio of 35-40% to 40 appearing on the humanoid robot's body. Thanks to material improvements, Optimus is now emphasized to have a lighter and more efficient machine body. Tessa also confirmed that the robot's weight has been significantly reduced by 22 pounds compared to the original prototypes. If you're thinking that the inside of Optimus's head is an empty box, you're sorely mistaken. Tesla's packed it with more than we could imagine. Inside, there are at least eight digital cameras. Although Tesla hasn't disclosed it yet, there is also an interactive screen inside the robot's head to display and convey information. Optimus needs this because at least it hasn't been introduced as capable of communicating with humans. In the Gen 2 update, Tesla also announced that Optimus's neck will include two degrees of freedom. The Tesla bot can fully tilt up and down and move left and right to enhance its observation capabilities. Additionally, this plays a crucial role in making it more human-friendly. As we've seen, Tesla hasn't made too many changes to the bot's face. It's all like an oval-shaped ball painted black, and this certainly works better than other robots trying to have human-like or animal-like faces. A mecha is something people have discussed quite a lot about its face. Optimus's head is also equipped with customizable LED strips, making the robot appear more diverse in mood, or at least it can be used to signal when Optimus is in a certain state, like low battery or fully charged. Let's delve into Optimus's torso. The human body is a complex system with many joints, muscles, and sensory organs working together in harmony. Simulating human movements and functions in a humanoid robot requires manufacturers to incorporate the most advanced hardware components. Musk once admitted that hardware is difficult. Yeah, crafting mechanical hardware components for robots is a complex process that demands high precision. This process involves designing and manufacturing components such as frames, joints, motors, and electrical drive systems. 
Unlike the hydraulic drive system once present in the Atlas robot, the Optimus robot is determined to utilize the entire functionality created by electric motors and drive systems. When it comes to electric motors, Tesla's got a wealth of experience with them because they exist in the EVs they're making. You should know that when electric motors operate in EVs, they not only propel the vehicle forward and backwards, but also have smaller robotic mechanisms to control steering when autopilot or full self-driving is activated on EVs like the Cybertruck. Specifically, the steering mechanism on all-wheel drive Cybertruck is entirely controlled by robotic mechanisms with no mechanical linkages. This means that instead of using traditional mechanical steering components like a mechanical steering linkage, Tesla's applied modern technology to control steering through electronically controlled robotic mechanisms. The use of robotic mechanisms can bring many benefits, including higher precision in steering control and better compatibility with advanced autonomous driving systems and other self-driving features. In addition to EVs, Tesla will also integrate these technologies into its robots. The robotic mechanisms allow Optimus to move backwards and forwards, left and right, truly just two degrees of freedom. The fact is, the robotic mechanisms inside Tesla's robot must include a range of different movements with very high precision, over 200 degrees of freedom throughout the body. In the latest Gen 2 version, just the arm of Optimus alone has been upgraded to include up to 11 degrees of freedom controlled by six electric motors. Tesla has a small embedded computer controlled in each hand of Optimus to control the fingers and receive feedback from pressure sensors in each fingertip. Internal controllers also work to help Optimus recognize the position of its arms in physical space. These combinations create incredibly impressive gripping motions with objects that we've witnessed. Most notably, the ability to hold an egg and manipulate it effortlessly. Allow us to elaborate more on Optimus's hands because at the very least, they're the most intriguing part of any humanoid robot. Truth be told, Optimus's hands become more fascinating with a cable controlled system that consists of four fingers and a thumb. From the brief demo, they showed its ability to withstand a considerable load by holding water cans and aluminum bars in the factory. However, due to the cable control design, the system will have a slower response time, making it harder to implement learning-based control and lacking reverse control capability in autonomous mode. This makes autonomous operation for general purpose manipulation a bit more challenging. But that's at the initial release stage, and Tesla has improved significantly in some ways in this recent version. From what we understand, there are two main layers of actuators used in Tesla's robot, rotary and linear actuators. Rotary actuators are characterized by the presence of a harmonic drive reduction system, an intelligent structure based on tension waves. Rotary actuators are typically used when Optimus robot needs precise and stable rotational motion. This system provides a reliable and efficient approach to achieve high precision rotational goals. On the other hand, linear actuators use an integrated reverse roller screw system, typically preferred in applications requiring precise and powerful linear motion. The reverse roller screw system is a linear motion mechanism that uses a screw and nut to generate motion. In the Tesla bot, the stability and flexibility of the linear mechanism have helped control the thrust direction of the motor more effectively. However, compared to rotary actuators, linear actuators are not common in humanoid robots, which is somewhat surprising because they operate fundamentally similar to human muscles. Therefore, if we look at the original model of the Tesla robot, they mostly use rotary mechanisms to control the arms and legs. Not only the drive systems, but also the energy system of Optimus will be placed in the robot's chest by Tesla. As we mentioned before, the manufacturer estimated a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack for its robot at AI Day back in 2022. If humans sustain themselves with a heart, then Optimus operates entirely on this battery pack. The manufacturer shared that it can work all day without needing a recharge when discussing the battery pack. But we are skeptical about this claim. Instead, eight hours of charge would seem less exaggerated. Similar in their electric vehicles, the battery pack for the robot will still need an integrated computer brain to manage charging, power distribution, and cooling to prevent rapid battery degradation. Of course, Tesla packaged the battery system very carefully to avoid exposure to water or other liquids during operation. Currently, it may be conventional lithium battery packs, but Tesla's changing to a better battery technology, and that's likely to happen soon. When it comes to how Tesla creates a pair of legs like the current ones on Optimus, we might call this a major breakthrough. As we all saw, one of the standout features of the unveiling was how clumsily and slowly the robot moved, which led many to underestimate Optimus because it looked no different than an old man. Of course, there have been significant improvements and changes since AI Day two years ago to the current generation of the robot. 
It's become faster with a total improvement of 60% to achieve 1.34 miles an hour or 0.6 meters a second as of now. Like the arms, the legs of Optimus also feature multiple joints integrated by engineers to mimic the structure of human legs, including hip joints, knee joints, and ankle joints. On numerous occasions, this humanoid robot's performed astonishing leg-raising maneuvers, squatting or sitting cross-legged. The steps taken by the legs are primarily controlled by electric drive systems capable of providing significant torque. We're not sure how many degrees of freedom the legs of Optimus have, but we have to admit it's improving every day. Speaking of its movement speed, which is still quite slow, we don't think anyone has a definitive answer on whether a robot with legs or wheels would be better. And in our opinion, it depends heavily on the goal you want to achieve. On one hand, some argue that the robot's feet need to be very heavy to achieve stability or the ability to lift heavy objects while maintaining a balance and avoiding falls. On the other hand, large companies like Boston Dynamics and Agility Robotics produce humanoid robots with a pair of legs to allow them to move flexibly. But when you check their functionalities, you find that to lift heavy objects like boxes in a factory, they need a very large and advanced motor system, which makes the system very expensive and not necessarily worthwhile. Another point is the ability to handle obstacles like sidewalks or stairs. There's no doubt that legs can make matters easier, but at the cost of instability, that's not necessarily profitable for the manufacturer or the customer, and Musk himself admits that they released the robot from its tether minutes before the event. Each part must be manufactured with high precision to ensure the accurate and smooth operation of the robot. The frame needs to be designed to withstand loads and pressures from other parts and provide a sturdy platform for the robot. After the mechanical parts are available, assembling them into a complete structure is the next important step. This process requires carefulness and patience to ensure that each part is assembled in the right position and securely connected. Proper assembly helps ensure the stability and performance of the robot during operation. Finally, integrating electronic systems into the robot is a crucial step in creating a complete and efficient robot. The electronic system includes control systems, sensor systems, and power systems. This requires a harmonious integration of mechanical and electronic components, ensuring that they operate smoothly and reliably. Only when this step is completed can the robot truly become a useful and effective tool in real-world applications. How does the Tesla robot work with software? Robots require software to function, and designing this software is no easy task. Optimus Bot operates by utilizing a neural network-based visual nervous system, enabling it to interact with its environment. This is a profound connection between Tesla's full self-driving program and Optimus Bot program. Optimus has its own brain or central processing unit provided by an artificial intelligence chip containing a trained neural network. The robot also relies on artificial intelligence technology such as deep learning and computer vision along with cameras and autonomous sensors to perceive and navigate the surrounding environment, as suggested on Tesla's recruitment page. Optimus also features an image navigation system managed by end-to-end -end trained neural networks for locomotion. It's loaded with a library of reference materials on natural motions. Essentially, engineers recorded human movements, like taking a box off a shelf and map that motion data, which has then been optimized to adapt to real-world movements into Optimus. And because Tesla's robots use the same artificial intelligence system as the company's vehicles, it can remember environments to enhance future interactions. As an automotive company, Tesla boasts one of the world's most advanced image processing systems. They also have ample data to understand the environment through cameras. Musk and his team have applied this principle to robots, and the results are extremely impressive. While they didn't showcase any actual functionality in the demo, from the videos they've shared, including footage of how Optimus understands its environment, it seems like this robot will apply everything Tesla's learned over the years about image recognition. In the chest cavity of a Tesla robot is where you'll find its brain, a custom design by Tesla on a chip called the self-driving computer. This device is equipped with Wi-Fi and LTE connectivity and is responsible for processing all visual data from cameras and sensory data from fingertips to make real-time decisions based on trained neural networks. The neural networks and vision used by Optimus are transferred from Tesla's car-based self-driving software. The only real difference is the training data. Optimus doesn't need to know how to drive, but it does need to know how to interact with a world of depth and height. Assuming that the self-driving program needs further improvement, Tesla may not be enthusiastic about mass-producing soulless robots. 
Therefore, Tesla needs to enhance its self-driving system for its vehicles before it can mass-produce a large number of Optimus robots. Then, the bots will efficiently utilize the successful self-driving software as their brains and hearts. The timeline for the release of Tesla robots varies. Optimus robots could potentially start rolling out as early as 2025, although some estimates don't foresee robots being sold till 2027. However, there's no guarantee that the perfected Tesla robots will be ready by then due to questions regarding its readiness. During the 2022 AI Day event, Musk said that the Tesla robot will cost $20,000 more or less. He has since said that while complexity per unit mass is much higher with humanoid robots, he still thinks the price will be eventually less than half a car. When Tesla humanoid robots enter the industrial revolution, the world will witness a revolutionary breakthrough in both the industrial sector and the daily lives of people. Their emergence is not just a simple change, but a true revolution. With advanced automation and artificial intelligence capabilities, Tesla humanoid robots can perform a variety of dangerous tasks that previously required human intervention. They can work in hazardous environments like chemical plants, nuclear power plants, or challenging construction sites. In this way, they help reduce risk for humans and make dangerous jobs safer. Furthermore, using Tesla humanoid robots also optimizes production processes and enhances productivity. They can work continuously without the need for rest, fatigue, or distraction like humans. This helps save time and money while producing higher quality products. If employed in households, Tesla humanoid robots can also take on the role of a responsible homemaker. They can perform tasks like cleaning, cooking, laundry, and even caring for kids and the elderly. This helps alleviate the burden of household chores for families and provides more time for everyone to enjoy life. So, how do you feel about the way Tesla built their Optimus and what technology and features are you expecting to be integrated into this world's leading humanoid robot? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.